All right, so we are going to do a uh, multiple exposure in Photopea here as best we can. Uh, so you start with an image, and what you want to do is basically you want to do an overlay of that image over another image, um, where it looks like you took a picture twice. So we're going to use this image here and this image here, uh, and the goal here is for me to first um, collect, uh, select out the picture. So I'm going to do a quick select just to see if I can. Uh, and this one actually looks like it's going to do all right. I mean, it's not going to be perfect, but for Photopea, we're going to say it's okay. And I'm going to do a Control J to make a new layer there. Uh, this background layer I can turn off for a while now. And you know, if there's any areas where there's big issues, I can just go in and kind of get rid of them if I need to. It's a little too much. Let's zoom in. Uh, I'm going to increase the opacity. I'm going to reduce the brush size here. I'm going to do that. A couple spots over here. And like I said, this is like not majorly important um, because I realize you guys are using Photopea, which is not as good as Photoshop. But for now, that'll be fine. So once you get this done, uh, and it's its own layer. If you hold control and click on it, it'll select around that layer and we can make a mask. And that mask is going to be super important later. Uh, so what we're going to do now is we're going to actually bring this picture or whatever picture you use for the background over twice. So over once and then over twice. So two new layers. I'm going to actually turn this one off. Um, and I mean, it's a lot bigger. Uh, than what we need, and that's fine. I'm going to go with it. So what I'm going to do is the top layer is off. I'm going to drag my mask over this layer right here. Boom. If I want to move the picture around, I have to uncheck this little chain here, because if I just move it, it's going to move the picture and the layer mask, which is no good. But if I uncheck the chain, I can actually move my image around and kind of get it right where I want it. So I want it right there. And what I'm going to do then is either on the mask or on the picture, you can go to multiply. Boom. You can play with the opacity for how much, or you can use a brush tool. Uh, and with the brush tool, you know, turn the opacity down, make it a wee bit smaller. I always like to have the hardness down. And then if there's areas you, you want to like make more prominent, you can go over them with the brush if it's on black, not white. Uh, and you can kind of bring them back out. And even that I would say is a little too harsh. Now I think I got the picture like pretty much where I want it. Maybe bring out the eyes a little more and maybe the mouth or some of this area here. I can lighten a bit. Just whatever I, I feel like makes it look good. Um, that you kind of have some balance to play with there. Okay. So you get that. You got your blend. It's doing both things. Oh, that's great. And now what we got to do is I'm going to go up to this layer right here. Going to kind of, whoa, still on the bottom layer. So this layer, I'm going to position it uh, approximately in the same spot. It doesn't really matter. What I'm really going for is I want two things from here. So one thing, I want to pick uh, the color of the sky out. And I'm going to go to the background layer, which if I turn all the layers off here, background layer. Uh, oops. Uh, actually, I can turn that off. Yeah, so I'm on the background layer. And I just want to paint that background layer uh, right here with a brush. And I'm going to turn the opacity all the way up. And I'm just going to make my brush nice and big. And I'll get that color for the background because we're going to come back to that. Okay. Um, now I'm going to go up to this top layer here and I'm going to throw a filter on it. It's going to be a blur filter. So it's going to be Gaussian blur. I'm going to make it like super blurred. And this is just to kind of get all the colors to kind of like align well. I'm going to turn all those layers. This one I don't need anymore. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on 
the brush and I'm going to make a mask. Uh, so I made a mask right there and I'm gonna turn the mask to black. And now with my brush that I've turned the opacity way down and it can be a big brush, I'm gonna start popping my image out here. And the reason I did the background is that color. So if you can see, if I turn all the background off, you'll see getting that blue color that matched with the picture gives me this nice little kind of vignetting thing around my image there. So that is the multiple exposure project. Um, and you have to do two of those. So uh, do your best. You know, I realize it's not gonna be as good as it would be on Photoshop, but it can still produce a pretty nice result. Uh, you do have to do the portrait or the side angle right here yourself, uh, but you can take the background off of the internet if you would like. So um, this is fine. Uh, also, some people say sometimes it helps if with the image, uh, so I'm on the, the picture itself now, some people like to do it where they change the image to black and white and they feel like they get better results with that. And you can see the difference. So here's like the color and uh, here is the black and white. And there's different results to it. Um, that's kind of up for you to decide. So this is multiple exposures.